asola asola hapa kule na kuja hapa kama kuji kidogo tuangalie ndugu yetu na ambayo ameshameletwa hapa leo so tuongeza sauti kidogo nasema yani nimekuja hapa kidogo at least kumwangalia ndugu yangu ambaye ameshikwa leo tulikuwa na waheshimiwa wengine and what we want to show is solidarity in what we are doing and what i want to say that it is important mtu akifanya chochote in this country there is rule of the law so i think we there is a lot of violation of rule of the law and that which i think it is important for us to put it in line na mimi nasema kusema ukweli kama a a contestant i'm i'm going to contest for or am aspirant for kenyan president 2027 also i know jimmy uh is also could be on the in the race at the same time mm -hmm. but my focus is not what he is intending to do or whatever reasons but mm -hmm. my mission is to make sure that we have the solidarity to protect each other mm -hmm. if jimmy becomes the best then we go for the best if mm -hmm. patrick osoi becomes the best to be elected by Kenya to be the next sixth president then mm -hmm. they go for it mm -hmm. but the fact is that today my presence here mm -hmm. with other uh, other honorable members mm -hmm. is to have the solidarity to be together and especially for the Kenyans who mean well mm -hmm. for this country i've heard it many times uh, you've heard Jimmy Wanjigi uh, talk about the debts in this country talk about the economy in this country mm -hmm. is a man i would also want to keep very close in mm -hmm. matters economy and investment in this country mm -hmm. and uh, especially as a young person also as well and people have gone ahead of us mm -hmm. to guide us on how we can run this country mm -hmm. so niko hapa kwa sababu ya familia pia familia njibi njimi wanjigi and uh, I also want to be an encouragement to them mm -hmm. because I'm also a family person and mm -hmm. I know what it takes how it feels mm -hmm. especially when your husband or your wife is arrested mm -hmm. at the same time I also want to speak to our forces security officers in this country mm -hmm. and I want to say that um, uh, that I also want to encourage them being one of them that I've, I was in the service like them before mm -hmm. that there is a hope for them especially in matters welfare mm -hmm. in matters living standard in mm -hmm. matters of um, the salaries that they are supposed to be receiving in this country mm -hmm. and two i also want to, to encourage them and tell them it is the highest time to be able to follow Uh, lawful orders in this country mm -hmm. it is wrong to follow unlawful commands mm -hmm. it is wrong to follow something that is not within the jurisdiction of the service court mm -hmm. or rather something that is against the constitution of this country mm -hmm. if there be any officer listening to me i want to encourage and tell them patrick so is what he is today because i was in the forces and personally i i never ever went against what is stipulated in our code of service mm -hmm. or rather what is stipulated in our constitution mm -hmm. if someone gave me a command that i know it's by it's violating mm -hmm. the constitution rights of any person mm -hmm. i used to say sir with all due respect i think it is not right for us to do this so i want to tell police officers tafadhali na waomba tafadhali let us observe the rule of the law in this country mm -hmm. let us ask ourselves if this person has a constitutional right to even pay a cash bill today or on friday mm -hmm. we had an issue where uh aoko uh, maprika has or, uh, already arrested the same case mm -hmm. whereby we did not even know who the complainant were mm -hmm. two they they denied cash bill mm -hmm. you see such kind of event we should not be experiencing in our country today in this century we are living here mm -hmm. And then again as a young person I want to still continue encouraging young people let us work hard let us work smart mm -hmm. so that 2027 we see that we bring the change that we want in this country mm -hmm. a country that is corruption free a country that is accountable a country where our leaders are they follow consensus or follow what the people want in this country mm -hmm. a country whereby we have accountability from the leaders a country whereby it is not about the leaders but about the interests of the people mm -hmm. where the sovereignty of the people will be exercised to date what we are seeing is different and i want to stand firm as a young person and to tell them i am not trying this mm -hmm. i want to make sure that whatever change we want in this country we bring it to to, to pass mm -hmm. and um kwa haya machache nashukuru sana pia labda to kuuliza because uh, they told him to come and uh, and present himself mm -hmm. and uh, they, 
the wakili from what we heard he said that uh, this was not what they told them to do or right this is this is not what they were expecting right so do you think uh, whatever they've done is uh, is uh, is it political is it uh, that uh, the firearms that they were saying that uh, were there i mean from your side what do you think uh let me say that uh having been in the forces mm -hmm. there are circumstances at which at times uh let's say uh, let me say there are circumstances at which you can present yourself to police station mm -hmm. and now it magnifies the case that you presented and then becomes uh becomes a bigger interest than what you thought mm -hmm. in that circum in that instance mm -hmm. it is okay to be arrested mm -hmm. but it's also okay at the same time to be given your rightful uh, my, your rightful uh, rights mm -hmm. to pay cash bill mm -hmm. and be released on, on a bill. Mm -hmm. So it is okay to get into police station and then with the presenting yourself and then the matters become bigger than what you thought you get arrested. Mm -hmm. But after uh, scrutiny by the police, mm -hmm. it is also the right of a citizen to pay the cash bill mm -hmm. and be released on that case, unless that person is a terrorist. Mm -hmm. And if it's, even if it's a terrorist, mm -hmm. uh, it can only be in accordance to maybe probably uh, court instruction to hold someone for more than what is expected, like what we have seen before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it is it is possible for someone to present themselves to, to, to the police station and probably get arrested. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, they should not be denied their right to pay cash bill. Mm -hmm. Yes. So 2027 to wewe uko kwa kwa debe sikiza kwanza 2027 mambo ni kama haya unless Yesu mwenyewe akuja kabla ya 2027 nitakuwa kwenye debe kitu ya pili hakuna mtu ambaye ameshaiwania kiti cha uraisi katika Kenya ambaye ameitimu kama mtu ambaye mnaona sasa hivi pate kosoi manake nime serve this country in uniform nime serve this country in national intelligence service nime serve even abroad out of this country in the in the US army whereby i have invested myself so that in in matters governance for uh, foreign policies taxation uh, tax 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 uh, you know understanding the economy like u.s economy mm -hmm. understanding the, the economy of countries like estonia and all that stuff so i would say that i have a spanning experience more than any presidential candidate who has ever contended contested in this country mm -hmm. and i want to tell you kushinda tutashida asubui tutashida kama jana <laughs> with the young people so tumeamua mm -hmm. na lazima tuamue na nataka kuambia and to encourage other young people mm -hmm the likes of Kasamuel, mm -hmm. the likes of young people who have come out. Mm -hmm. I want to say that mm -hmm. it is important for us to begin to have formations mm -hmm. and structures mm -hmm. so that these people will form a system, mm -hmm. a system that will replace the system that is there today. Mm -hmm. I don't advocate to say that we are supposed to have leaders. Mm -hmm. It is okay to, to be leaderless, mm -hmm. but it's not okay for us not to have formations mm -hmm. and structures to make sure that that system we're creating, mm -hmm. we create a structure that will substitute Mm -hmm. the bad governance we have in this country mm -hmm. yes thank you so much nashukuru sana may god bless you na nashukuru pia hizo my jacking ni mzuri mzuri kabisa sana na nasema tafadhali naona ukipiga kona huko juu nikajua gari yako hiyo hiyo nashukuru pia leo ni sijalala sijui saa hizi ni saa ngapi saa hizi ni saa 6 inaelekea it is midnight sijalala it is okay but it is important for the people to know when you fight for another for a person mm -hmm. when you stand with another person mm -hmm. it is the best satisfaction you can ever be fighting for another person but it's wrong for us to experience the selfness the selfless the selfness mm -hmm. that we have in this country especially with our leaders so let us have that selfless kind of a heart mm -hmm. to stand with the people i do not belong to uh, what i say that kama sasa hivi I'm, I do not belong to Sabina party. Mm -hmm. I do not, you know, uh, Jimmy Wanjigi is also a presidential candidate mm -hmm. in 2027. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know whether he's going to be in the race, but my, that's not my interest. Mm -hmm. My interest is to see that we start in solidarity and especially with people like Jimmy Wanjigi mm -hmm. who have told the young people mm -hmm. to arise to this occasion mm -hmm. to bring revolution in this country mm -hmm. the economic revolution you know industrialization revolution leadership revolution in this country i stand firm to such people with such ideologies mm -hmm. so that now we bring this country to the change that we want 
2027 tuko kwenye debe atubaduki kama mbaya mbaya kitu ya pili hakuna pesa yoyote mtu yoyote dunia mzima atanunua pate kosoi wewe kuja na yako nitakwambia enda nayo nenda kula na girlfriend wako ama wende kule na wale watu unataka but the fact is that we must remain firm and i'm going to stand firm to make sure even the young people who have come out the kasamuel and other people who have come out we mentor them the right way so that we are able to have solid people and people who are informed and to be able to run this country wale ambao ni wazee tafadhali ikifika 2027 kama miaka yako imechapa you're more than 56 years we respect you we will call you a senior citizen being a senior citizen we will make sure that you don't even pay taxes wende nyumbani upumzike sisi vijana we are going to work a day in day out to make sure that this country belongs and goes to where it's supposed to be nashukuru sana may god bless you thank you nashukuru